Throughout Palm Beach County, and specifically Lake Worth, there's a large population of impoverished immigrant families. The median household income is $36,000, and the poverty rate is at a staggering 28.7%. But these families are more than just a statistic. Due to the construction of South Florida, a wave of immigrants came to Lake Worth in search for a better life for their families. These families struggle to afford basic necessities, which leaves little room for their children to have an engaging childhood or an outlet to express themselves. We want to be there for them. We believe that every child has talent, and we want to help them discover what makes them unique. Our program is designed to guide and support disadvantaged children through the arts and academics at no cost. The arts have been proven to enhance self-esteem, self-discovery, and intellectual development, additionally steering them away from violent futures. We work with the Kids Teach Kids environment. I've had several students open up to me. One of these students was named Santiago. Santiago is extremely smart and knows both Spanish and English, but due to the fact that he has cerebral palsy, he can't speak either. He chooses instead to write. Santiago, his four brothers and sisters, and his mother and father moved here from Central America, but last year his father was deported. Imagine raising five children with no spouse. We hope to help this family and dozens of others like them. We currently have 21 music students, 17 art students, and 13 students in the academics. We're the second generation of leadership, and tonight we have the first generation here to support us. We have been going for three years strong, and we sustain ourselves by having our, stud our students turn into our volunteers. We additionally have professional teachers to help ensure the quality of the education we're giving. We have, partners, we have several partnerships with the Norton Museum, local schools to help us recruit students, and the Lake Worth Herald to ensure publicity. And we're not only helping the students, we're also helping the volunteers. We're showing them the rewarding relationship that they can have by helping out the community. Several of our students have created their own versions of the Art for the Soul and their programs, and have also gained scholarships to their first choice colleges. And lastly, we truly help to educate the parents, or we truly hope to educate the parents on the importance of the arts in these youth's lives. For our project, we asked for a budget of the full $15,000. With this, we plan on distributing it throughout our music funds, art funds, and volunteering funds. For our music funds, we plan on spending the majority of the money for keyboards and guitars. For the guitars, we have created a system where we allow the kids to take home the guitars for three months. In this period, we take monthly progress reports and measure their progress and their passion. If there is improvement, the guitars are theirs. Also, throughout all of the programs, we set aside a lot of the money for field trips and scholarships.